Hi, this is Tandi from borderwork.com and today we'll be giving you a walkthrough of the update 2.0 on the Blackberry playbook. Yes, all you playbook fans out there, it's been updated. There are a few key features that you should note. I'm going to go through a bunch of them. I might miss some, but uh, if you guys uh, spot anything new or any more updates in the system, let me know and we'll, we'll add it to uh, with further videos in the future. Now, when you update your playbook 2.0, the first thing that you will notice is you have the ability to put six applications on a deck. So your deck is actually uh, across the home screen and from your deck you can access all your applications so you see the deck right on top there I do have uh, three folders and also have three applications now folders are also something you can create now going back to the deck you can swap things in and out of the deck it's very simple all you don't have to do is hold down on either icon you want you can bring it out and um, you can now add something else so I took out my app world you know what I need my maps so I'm going to take big maps I'm going to put that up there done very simple very easy and that's how the deck pretty much works so you have whatever you need to access right in front of you um, uh, on the go other thing also is that you can actually create folders very simple process uh, same process of holding down the applications where they now begin to pulsate and you can either delete applications you can actually combine them by dragging them together so I have Netflix and I have Q manager which is my Netflix Q manager I just click on Netflix I drag over boom Day I go, I have a creative folder, simple. I can name it, I'll call it Netflix. Sorry. Create, done. That's it. It's right there. I have my Netflix folder, done. Double tap, I'm out of uh, creating folders. I have that all set. So another thing that's new is the email email application, which is very big because when the playbook first came out, we had no email. You had to, you had links to browse basic browser links all the way through. So now you have a built-in client that has your email um, and also your messaging center combined. So if I tap on that, bring that up here, you can see I'm in my inbox. But once I go here, I sh it shows you all my accounts. I have several email accounts. I also have a Facebook, Twitter account. Also, there you can only have one Twitter account. Uh, linked into your uh, your messaging center, but you do have the ability to have a bunch of email accounts all synced in. Now the cool thing is you can um, create messages, uh, create multiple messages and multiple drafts and multiple accounts all at the same time. So if you are a user of Android or iOS, you know that's not possible. You know, or even Windows Phone. Basically, once you open up your email, you have a draft that you have to save up, go out and continue doing that on another um, email application. Now with this, I'm in my email app, I go here. So I'm in my mailbox, I'm in the mailbox for MSN. If I just pull down the, the bar on the top, you can see already I have messages, which just takes me back to my message hub for all my email accounts. I have draft one, draft two, I can create a third draft. Now these two drafts are on two different email accounts. So draft two is see on the MSN accounts. If I pull that back down again, I go to draft one, that's also a different account here. So it's very easy to create different drafts and have multiple emails, you know, especially as a business user, you have different business accounts, uh, you have your personal stuff, and you're trying to email people back and forth. It's very easy to track all those drafts across, um, across the board. Of course, you have options for your settings here, which allow you to, um, you know, you can display image, um, Messages of singles, hide fields, confirm deletion, and also allow images to be downloaded automatically, or you you know do that manually yourself. You also have some email preferences, and you can set up email preferences per account. You can add more accounts here. So it's a very simple, straightforward process. I like the fact that BlackBerry has made it um, a messaging hub and just not just email. So it you know contains everything you need from Facebook to Twitter and all that fun stuff so um, it works out very well and this is integrated with the calendar app which is also the new big feature here on um, on your BlackBerry playbook so if you go to the calendar app now your calendar app of course combines all your different calendars from all the emails we had Facebook um, all that stuff all together so to see all the calendars you have or highlight it you pretty much slide down your bar and you can see we have uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, four, five calendars highlighted. We can add another calendar with Board Fem. We can add the MSN if we want. And so basically, we have all our calendars, you know, synced in all together. 
refresh you do have your settings here for duration of uh, syncing um, reminders uh, your your snooze reminder every five minutes when your day starts working week hours all that stuff so you can customize your calendar whichever way you want for display functions and then also your calendar preferences and adding accounts now if we go back to the calendar you notice the very first thing is that some numbers are bigger some numbers are smaller that's a very easy way to indicate how busy you are that day or how many appointments how many things you have going on on your calendar so you'd see on the first of february it was a very slow day you know there's pretty much nothing going on um and on the 22nd today you can see the numbers pretty large so that means a lot of things are going on um, and uh, on the 23rd we do have a bunch of things going on here too now the cool thing about the calendar it syncs with your contacts too so if for instance you can see here the splash network um, that's an event going to you can see the attendees and that attendee is actually a friend on the contact list so that shows you who will be there if you know someone and that can also get you prepared for whatever you're going to so if you're going to a meeting and uh, you have a meeting with you know in the company you find out one of your execs that you don't like is going to be there you get ready and you know get yourself all psyched up for it so it's very easy it's very simple you can see the agenda you can see the people who you'll be seeing that day uh, so on and so forth. So it's a very easy process. The calendar basically just it has a cover flow system, so um, everything slide over on a very decked uh, format. And uh, yeah, the calendar is very simple. It's it's easy to access. I just like the I like the number feature because it just gives you a very nice visual rep representation of saying, hey, I'm busy or I'm not busy. So if someone you know were to call you and say, hey, what are you doing on the 29th? I can already look and say, okay, it's going to be a packed day. So I might not have time for you that day and that's something that I think they've done well in adding here. Uh, a couple other things that are new is uh, you also have the uh, print to go app. Now this allows you to download a link on your PC uh, and that syncs of course as long as you're in the Wi-Fi network you can print from your playbook to your uh, your printer connected to your PC. Another cool feature which uh, we almost forgot to mention is the um, the bridge process, actually improved bridge process, if you will. So, when you have documents open on your um, on your playbook and you've done some editing and you've made changes and all that fun jazz, you can either save it on your playbook or, you know, you can save it on your BlackBerry, basically the media card on your BlackBerry or the device, which allows you to have multiple save locations, which you know might come in handy in case, say, you lose your playbook you know or someone steals it or what have you but at least you have multiple storage points for uh, your documents and this is I think for business users you find this very useful because at least you know that you have backups for your material so that's a nice new feature they've added with uh, the uh, the bridge functionality from the playbook to the uh, Blackberry and uh, yeah so let's continue um, overall that's uh, pretty much the uh, the look and feel of update 2.0 on the BlackBerry playbook. There are a couple other things. Some apps have also been refreshed for uh, update 2.0, but nothing um, you know out of the ordinary to say. Uh, Android applications are still not being able. You can't access them immediately yet on the playbook, but that will be coming soon. But uh, they've done a bunch of things to make it more user friendly, especially with the email applications having a. Uh, standard uh, email uh, client built in is something that they've done very well I think will help them in the long run so um, if you guys have any questions or any comments about uh, update 2.0 on the playbook let us know uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook and YouTube it's uh, border work with uh, 2.0 so this is Thundee saying thank you and uh, always enjoy entertainment